Hello, welcome to Quantitative Reasoning Solution and today we're going to be considering book 5 of Lantern Quantitative page 36 exercise 16. Alright, so thank you for joining in today and if you're yet to subscribe to this channel, kindly do so as we'll be bringing you lots, lots of quantitative reasoning problems and solutions. Alright, so we have this Today we have 12, 8, 10, 10, all right? So we are going to be solving this. And um, looking at this, we have 12 and 8. We're looking at equivalent numbers. If you consider this, 2 plus 16 is 18. 14 plus 4 is 18, right? So we have uh, 14 plus 14 plus 4 equals 18 and our 16 plus 2 equals 18 and here we have our 12 plus 8 equals 16 and plus 8 equals 20 and our 10 plus 10 equals 20 so whichever part you are finding you would make use of this uh, number so let's find our uh, 12. So since this part is complete, so we can just see 20 minus 8, which is 12. And to find 8, we can as well do the same thing. 20 minus 12 is 8. And to find 10, as we were looking for this 10, we're going to pick 20 from here, 20 minus the 10 corresponding number to it is 10. And the other 10, we have 20 minus 10 is also 10, right? So let us do the same thing for this example. So to find our 2, we're going to be using this first equation because it's complete. So we have our 18 minus our 16 is 2. And to find 16, we have 18 minus 2 is 16. And to find 14, this number, we have this 18 minus 4 is 14 and to find 4 we have 18 minus 14 is 4 right so as you can see the pattern worked for both examples so do well to subscribe to this channel for more quantitative reasoning solution remember to subscribe like and share in fact Click the like and subscribe button right now. Do have a nice day. Bye.